Here we are looking at a theorem for invertible linear transformations. And this theorem begins by letting T be a linear transformation from Rm to Rn, and let S be a linear transformation from Rn to Rp. Then the composition of these transformations, S of T from Rm to Rp, is also a linear transformation. And moreover, the standard matrices of these linear transformations are related by the following equation. We say that the composition or the standard matrix of the composition of the linear transformation S with linear transformation T is equal to or equivalent to the product of these two standard matrices. So we have the standard matrix of linear transformation S multiplied by the standard matrix of the linear transformation T. So let's now go ahead and verify this theorem with the following example. So here we are asked to verify that invertible linear transformation theorem by finding the standard matrix S of T by first using direct substitution and then by using matrix multiplication. And here we are given two beautiful linear transformations from R2 to R2. And here we go. Part A. We want to verify the theorem using direct substitution. So let's break this down a little bit to get us started. We have S of T of the vector X sub 1, X sub 2. And we know that we can rewrite this as S of the linear transformation T of X sub 1, X sub 2. And looking up above at our defined linear transformation T, we can equivalently say that this is S of x sub 1 plus 2 times x sub 2, negative 3 x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So now, we want to replace each y sub 1 in the linear transformation s with this first equation. And we're also going to replace each y sub 2 in the linear transformation s with our second equation. So we can rewrite this as x sub 1 plus 2 times x sub 2 plus 3 multiplied by negative 3 x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So there's our newly defined equation 1. And equation 2 will become x sub 1 plus 2 times x sub 2 minus negative 3 times x sub 1 plus x sub 2. Beautiful. And now all that's left is a little algebra. So we can begin here by distributing our 3 through to both terms. And we'll also go ahead and we'll distribute that negative through to both terms in equation 2. So this is leaving us with, we have equation 1 is defined now as x sub 1 plus 2x sub 2 minus 9x sub 1 plus 3x sub 2. And equation 2 becomes x sub 1 plus 2x sub 2 plus 3x sub 1 minus x sub 2. So now grouping up all our like terms here, we have negative 9x sub 1 plus x sub 1 leaves us with a negative 8x sub 1. And then 2x sub 2 plus 3x sub 2 leaves us with plus 5x sub 2 for equation 1. And equation 2 can now be rewritten as 4x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So now that we've simplified this, let's rewrite this in the matrix equation form. So we have the 2 by 2 matrix, negative 8, 5, 4, 1. And this is multiplied by the vector x sub 1, x sub 2. And so we can see that, therefore, the standard matrix S of t is the 2 by 2 matrix, negative 8, 5, 4, 1. So now what we need to do is verify our answer here 
and the invertible linear transformation theorem by finding the standard matrix of S of t, but this time using matrix multiplication. So the first thing that we need to do here is to identify the standard matrix of the linear transformation S and the standard matrix of the linear transformation T. So linear transformation S of y sub 1, y sub 2 was given to us as y sub 1 plus 3y sub 2, y sub 1 minus y sub 2. And we know that we can rewrite this in the matrix equation form where we have the standard matrix of S, 1, 3, 1, negative 1, multiplied by the vector y sub 1, y sub 2. And similarly, we were given the linear transformation T of x sub 1, x sub 2, defined as we have x sub 1 plus 2x sub 2, and then minus 3x sub 1 plus x sub 2. And we know that we can, again, rewrite this in the matrix equation form where we have the standard matrix of T, 1, 2, 3, 1, multiplied by the vector x sub 1, x sub 2. Beautiful! So now we're ready to perform this matrix multiplication. We have the standard matrix of S multiplied by the standard matrix of T. So our standard matrix of S, we can see, is the 2 by 2 matrix, 1, 3, 1, negative 1, multiplied by the standard matrix of T, the 2 by 2 matrix, 1, 2, negative 3, 1. And let's give ourselves a little bit more room. So applying our row column rule, we have the first row times the first column leaves us with 1 minus 9, First row times the second column leaves us with 2 plus 3. The second row times the first column leaves us with 1 plus 3. And the second row times the second column leaves us with 2 minus 1. And simplifying here, we are left with the beautiful 2 by 2 matrix, negative 8, 5, 4, 1 which matches what we found in part A. Woohoo! So we can officially confirm that the standard matrix S of T is equal to the product of the standard matrices, the standard matrix of S times the standard matrix of T. They are both in this case equal to negative eight, five, four, one. So there you have it. Here is our beautiful final answer in verification of our theorem.